Why would you leave the best for anything else? Is the question that the writer poses to his readers. Why would you go back? Christ is the fulfillment of all this. Why turn about? Beloved, that's how we can apply this book to ourselves in the simplest way possible. In our world today, there are many things that are vying for our allegiance. False religious systems, idols of plastic and metal and glass and gold and silver are everywhere. And there is a great deal of temptation in our world for people to leave Christ for these things. But for the believer, there ought always be a reminder in our hearts, never leave the best. Christ is superior to it all. There is none who compares to Him. No false teacher can compare to Christ. Not Buddha, not Krishna, not Muhammad, not anyone. Neither can any biblical patriarch be compared to Him. Not Abraham, not Moses, not Joshua, not David, not anyone. Christ is supreme over all. How dare we go back to depart for anything would be departing from He who is best, superior, supreme. I look so forward to our exposition of this message as we worship our supreme Christ. Let us pray. Father God, You sent Your Son into the world and He is supreme over all. Let it be that we never forget that message. And Lord God, if there is one here who possibly has fallen backwards away from Christ or maybe they have not stepped towards Him in faith, God, we ask that You would because it is only something that You can do. But to do that work of grace in their hearts. Because Lord God, they have heard the message this morning. That Christ is supreme. And there is salvation in no other. We pray Lord now for our time of singing. For we invite those who will come to come to join the church or to come and pray or to come and know You. Let it be, Lord.